the lecture i'm going to discuss what how to create table from select query result in microsoft sql server so first here i'm going to show you the table that i'm going to use so writing here select a star from let's write here hr and using the table employees so if i execute so this is the record inside the employees table now the next is here creating the table with the help of select so writing select once again then a star and from after that uh, select so there we need to use select a star then after into then we need to use we need to give the new table name so writing here name employees and this come from hr if i press start then from this come from hr dot employees so if i execute this query so the new table that create with the name new employees so with the help of this or uh, table hr dot employees execute that now you can see 107 rows affected so the table that's created now let's replace the database and uh, here you can see new implies that created now if i click on the select so whatever the record inside the hr employees or uh, the same thing that comes inside the employees now there is uh, another thing is so if i execute this query so i want to uh, select some columns not all the columns so if i create the tables with some particular columns so for this one we need to write here another query select in place of a star we can give here employee id underscore id and the name next is first underscore name and uh, let's uh, include salary so then after we need to use here into and the new table name so n employees and this table that create from the hr dot employees table so this is the query so this times i'm not going to select all the columns only three columns that selected here employee id first name and here salary let's execute this query then you can see 107 rows affected and uh, if i write here select a star from a star from so the new table that created n employees and if i execute so there the table that created with the three columns so now running this query so here you can see the table that's created with the three columns so this is how we can create the tables from the select query result in microsoft sql server so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you